Today, we're going to talk about a very important topic, honesty. In our fast-paced world, where so many different things are said and heard every day, the truth becomes more important than ever. Have you ever stopped to think if it's really possible for us to always tell the truth and never lie? This question isn't just interesting to think about, but it's also very important for how we live our lives every day. Let's explore this together and see what Buddhism, a very wise and ancient tradition, teaches us about being honest and truthful. 1. The Nature of Truth in Buddhism In Buddhism, truth isn't just a word. It's a way of living. Buddha, a very wise teacher who lived a long time ago, said that being honest is super important if we want to live a happy and peaceful life. He talked about something called right speech, which means saying things that are true, kind, and helpful. Just imagine a world where everyone only said kind and helpful things. How peaceful and happy that world would be. Right speech is part of the Noble Eightfold Path, a guide that Buddha gave us to live good lives. It's like a map that shows us how to be kind, honest, and caring in everything we do. 2. Real-world problems related to lying. Every day, we see problems caused by not telling the truth. Sometimes the lies might seem small, like saying you like a friend's cooking when you don't. But these lies can still make life more complicated. Lies can make people feel sad or hurt and can cause big problems in the world. Think about how people sometimes believe false things they read on the internet. These lies can spread like wildfire and cause a lot of confusion and trouble. In our personal lives, when we don't tell the truth to our friends and family, it can hurt our relationships. Trust, which is like a bridge between people, gets weaker every time we lie. 3. Historical and Contemporary Buddhist Perspectives Let's go back in time and think about Buddha. Once, he helped a king who had told a lie to protect his kingdom. Buddha told the king that the truth is very important, even when it's hard to tell it. He explained that when we lie, we hurt ourselves and others, and we move away from peace. Nowadays, many teachers who follow Buddha's way still say the same thing. They teach us to be honest, to keep our minds clear and our hearts at peace. These teachers like Thich Nhat Hanh and the Dalai Lama tell us that honesty helps us live with ourselves and others in a kinder and more peaceful way. 4. The Psychology of Lying Why do people lie? Sometimes it's because they're scared or they want something. It can make us feel uneasy because deep down, we know it's not the best choice. Buddha said that being honest clears our minds and helps us feel peaceful. It's like cleaning our room. Everything feels better when it's tidy and clear. When we lie, our minds get all cluttered, like a room full of stuff we don't need. And just like cleaning a cluttered room, telling the truth can make us feel free and light. 5. The possibility of living without lies. Can we really go through life without ever telling a lie? It's a big challenge, for sure. Being completely honest means we have to think carefully about what we say, making sure it's true, kind, and necessary. Buddha taught that it's important to be honest and kind at the same time. It's like walking on a tightrope. We need to find the right balance. If we only care about being honest, we might hurt people's feelings. But if we're only trying to be kind, we might end up saying things that aren't true. So, it's all about finding that balance where we can be truthful and kind. 6. Practical Steps and Solutions To be more honest in our daily lives, we can start by paying more attention to what we think and say. A good way to do this is by being quiet for a little while every day, just noticing our thoughts without judging them. This practice is called mindfulness, and it's like giving our minds a little break from all the noise of the world. We can also practice thinking before we speak, asking ourselves if what we're going to say is true, kind, and necessary. It's like stopping at a crossroad and thinking about the best path to take. 7. Deepening our understanding of honesty. 
being honest isn't just about what we say to other people. It's also about being true to ourselves. Sometimes we do things that don't really make us happy, or we pretend to be someone we're not. It's important to ask ourselves these questions. Am I being true to myself? Am I doing things that really make me happy? By being honest with ourselves, we can understand our own hearts better. And when we understand ourselves better, we can be more honest and kind with others too. 8. Examples of Honesty in Action Let me share a story about a monk who was very honest. Even when he could have lied to avoid trouble, he chose to tell the truth. His honesty was like a bright light, showing everyone around him the right way to live. This monk knew that telling the truth might be difficult, but he also knew it was the right thing to do. His story teaches us that even when it's hard, being honest is worth it. It's like climbing a steep hill. It might be tough, but the view from the top is amazing. 9. The Challenge of Absolute Honesty Always telling the truth can be really hard sometimes. We might worry that the truth could hurt someone's feelings. Buddha understood this, and that's why he said we should also be kind when we tell the truth. It's like giving someone medicine that doesn't taste good. You give it to them with a spoonful of honey to make it easier to take. This means we should think about the best way to say something true in a way that doesn't hurt or upset others. 10. Integrating Honesty into Daily Life To live honestly, we can start with small things. Maybe it means telling a friend how we really feel or not hiding our mistakes. Every time we are honest, it's like planting a seed that grows into a strong, beautiful tree of truth. This tree gives us shade and fruit. It makes our lives better. We can also encourage our friends and family to be honest. It's like watering the seeds of honesty in our community. Over time, these seeds grow, and our community becomes a garden full of truth and trust. 11. The Power of Honest Communities Imagine a place where everyone is honest. In this place, people trust each other and there's no fear or confusion because of lies. Everyone feels safe and understood. We can all help make our communities like this by being honest ourselves and encouraging others to be honest too. When we live in an honest community, solving problems becomes easier and everyone feels happier and more at peace. It's like living in a sunny, peaceful garden where every plant and flower is thriving. 12. Encouragement for the Journey This journey of being honest isn't always easy, but it's so worth it. It's like climbing a mountain. The path might be tough, but the view from the top is breathtaking. Along the way, we might stumble or get lost, but that's okay. Every step forward is a step towards the top. Let's help and encourage each other on this journey. When we support each other, the path becomes easier and the journey becomes more joyful. Together we can climb this mountain of honesty and enjoy the beautiful view from the top. 13. Honesty and its relationship with karma. In Buddhism, karma is a very important idea. It's like a law of nature that says what we do comes back to us. When we are honest, good things come back to us. It's like planting a garden. If we plant good seeds, like seeds of honesty, we'll get beautiful flowers and tasty fruits. But if we plant bad seeds, like seeds of lies, we might end up with weeds and thorns. Karma teaches us that every choice we make, even the small ones, shapes our future. So, when we choose to be honest, we're planting seeds for a happy and peaceful future. 14. The Challenge of Absolute Truth in a Relative World Our world is full of different views and ideas. What's true for one person might not be true for another. Buddhism teaches us to understand this and to think carefully about what is really true. It's like looking at a big puzzle and trying to see the whole picture. Sometimes, we need to step back and look at things from different angles to understand the truth. This doesn't mean that there's no real truth. It just means that finding the truth can be like solving a puzzle. It takes patience, understanding, and an open mind. 15. 
The role of compassion in truth-telling. Being honest is very important, but so is being kind. When we have to tell the truth, especially if it's something hard for someone else to hear, we should think about how to say it in a gentle and caring way. This is like being a doctor who has to give a shot. You do it carefully and kindly so it hurts less. Compassion in truth-telling means we think about the other person's feelings and try to speak in a way that shows we care about them. It's not just about what we say, but how we say it. 16. The practice of mindful listening in honest communication. Good communication isn't just about talking, it's also about listening, really listening. When someone is talking to us, we should try to understand not just their words, but also their feelings. This is called mindful listening. It means listening with all our attention, without thinking about what we're going to say next. It's like opening our ears, our minds, and our hearts, all at the same time. When we listen like this, we understand people better, and our conversations become more honest and meaningful. 17. The Impact of Honesty on Personal Growth Being honest with others and ourselves helps us grow in many ways. It's like looking in a mirror that shows us who we really are, not just who we want to be. This can be tough sometimes, but it's also really rewarding. It helps us understand ourselves better, make better choices, and build stronger relationships with others. Each time we choose to be honest, even when it's hard, we grow a little bit more. We become more confident, more understanding, and more at peace with ourselves. 18. Incorporating Honesty into Daily Habits We can practice being honest every day, in small ways. It might be by telling someone how we really feel, or by being true to our promises, or by admitting when we're wrong. Each honest action is like a step on a path to a happier, more peaceful life. We can also make honesty a part of our daily routines, like taking a moment each morning to think about how we can be honest that day. It's like setting our compass to point towards truth, so we can stay on the right path all day long. 19. Inspiring Stories of Honesty in Buddhist Communities There are many beautiful stories about honest people in Buddhist communities. These stories show us how being truthful can make our lives and the lives of those around us so much better. They teach us that honesty is like a light that guides us through the darkness. When we hear these stories, we're inspired to be more honest in our own lives. They're like stars in the night sky, guiding us on our path. Buddha once said, The truth cannot stay hidden forever. It's like trying to hide the sun and the moon. They're too big to hide, and eventually they'll shine bright for everyone to see. Every time we choose to be honest, we're bringing a little more light into the world just like the sun and the moon. This light can guide us and others on the path of peace and happiness. It's not always easy to tell the truth, but remember, every step we take towards being honest is a step towards a brighter, more beautiful world. Concluding thoughts and a vision for the future. Let's imagine a future where everyone is honest. In this world, people understand and trust each other. There's no fear or confusion because everyone speaks the truth. This might sound like a dream, but it's a future we can all help create. Each honest word we speak, each truthful action we take, brings us closer to this beautiful world. Remember, the path to this wonderful future starts in our own hearts, with our own choices to be honest and true. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you found it inspiring and informative. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications so you won't miss our next video.